Another big holiday gets tripped and all of a sudden they call an embellishment that sets up the four on four where Penn State is able to win the game in overtime there. Dobesh made a big save there. And he Kicking it around Dow Jr. Trying to use the boards for Wall who scored the game winning goal in overtime yesterday. Here he comes again looking in front for McMenamin and the puck was loose. McMenamin misses the net there. It hit the post. Dove the puck in the slot. Maybe we'll see it here. There's the one that, that's the one that hit the post, so Dobesh lost it. He had no idea where it was, right there, off the post. That's what I was gonna ask you here, Greg. Are we at the point now as Sarlo looking in from a shot from the left circle? Off Dobesh's blocker here, Madoli fighting for it. Soulier was perfect yesterday. He was so good as a couple slaps there from Kerwin. He stopped every shot he saw, so he was perfect. Is the, is at this point, are the Buckeyes, you know, there there has to have been some type of, you know, mental angst from him. They, you know, he's messing with them. They, they just coming off to the bench, and he went down to the ice as he was trying to get off. Lampa puts one on. Dobish, it pops in front. Lampa again from the slot with the rebound. Dobish turns it away again. Penn State keeps it in, and now Thiesing. The freshman tries to throw it past Dobish. He stops it. Behind the net, Shade chased down his own dump, sets one up inside for Gratton. Last night's hero, known Buckeye killer, feeds one inside with the backhand. Good centering attempt, Dobish stands up strong to make that catch. That was a good backhand shot. And Sarlo from the blue line puts one on Dobish. He turns it away. For Berger instead, he pushes it too far for Kevin Wall. Now Linden from the slot takes a shot and a hit as he lets it go. Dobish makes the catch. That's a really good line. Linden, and they played well. 20 goals last year for RPI. Was very dangerous, a former North Dakota and Lake Superior player. There's that one where he cut to the middle and took the shot, and they're doing, I think, a lot of what we said. They're Wall keeps it alive. Paul Puck works its way up to Gratton. He takes a one-timer from Blue. As Guzzo went diving to take away the shooting lane, centering pass into the skate of McKecker. Back for De Naples at the right point. He throws it in front, saved by Dobash. Back on that line, then they'd really have something. Makes Set. some good t-shirts. <laughs> Stolen away, shot as he drew the puck back. It was not a great angle by Kirwan, but he all That Buckeye offense, you've mentioned a couple times, they've had some good looks, but the spacing, just not their best shot attempts. McKecker in with a shot he had. A tremendous opportunity between the circles. He saw the whites of the goalkeeper's eyes, and Dobesh, well positioned, makes another big save. McKecker trying to catch me monologuing through a call there. Great challenge on Dobesh. Dobesh stepping up nicely. He knew Dobesh was going to be there. <laughs> he puts his body on it, and no, it just. I don't know, Greg. I, I don't want to call my shot or anything. I'm just getting that vibe, especially with how the second period's going. He gave, you know. We talked about the block shots, and you know it didn't feel like a total Penn State advantage, but the shot advantage was there, and that's continued here in the second period. Maybe, maybe this is a trend. In the corner, you get a third man takes over, and it's a quick break the other way with a pass out for Calder. Beautiful centering pass, wide open. Stennis stopped, and it got over the line. Dobesh looked like he'd made a brilliant save. That puck ever so slow. This is going to be close. He's got it. Last second, it trickles out. Oh, it's, it's in. in. No doubt. Yeah, it's in. Duke, good heads up play. Good idea. But they yeah. are the pass out to center ice and a good second pass. Couldn't quite be handled by Lampa. Now he carries it in and fires it over the net. Here's a shot wide. They had a man wide open in front if they had seen him, but could not finish the play. Back of the net. Good forechecking being done. But it's starting to look very sharp, Penn State. They are beginning to put a lot more pressure on the Buckeyes, and the Buckeyes are being able to muster at the other end of the rink. It's been in control. Here they come swarming in again. This is Calder, and a shot saved by Dobesh. And back comes Laura. He's going to break it out. It's a two-on-one. Coming in wall, centered, and just tipped wide. And the net 
gets moved as it was an attempt for McMenamin, who was breaking hard for the net, and they almost converted. Yeah, and this Penn State forward, I mean, the Penn State skaters in general. I mean, you talked about yesterday, Soulier carries them with just being a superhero. You know, he's the best, one of yeah, the best he, goalie he performances he you'll see all was season. cape last night. Yeah, he all, that's all he forgot was his cape. And now you're getting great one-on-one -on -one attempts. Another one for Wall and McMenamin here. Both coming in hot. These Penn State State. Ricky made a good play to force him wide on that, or they might have converted that wraparound attempt. And Sarlo almost was able to sneak it in. Back of the net. Get towards. They lost it. There's a centering pass for Kerwin. And Sarlo almost got a chance as he broke his way right to the very gates of the net. Here is Kerwin again. He was checked by Trelaw. Going intercepted. Penn State back with a drop pass in over the line. A check thrown, but a pass by Chase McLean. They send it across the crease, right out in front, caught in the skate. Fake on a counterattack on the back end, as we just saw. Here's a good drop pass back by Jinayev. The shot from a hard angle by Linden, kicked out by Dard. And we've seen the period come to an end. There's a save, rebound, open in front. I think that dates back to the probably early to mid range of the second period. That shot was on goal, saved by Dobesh, but it was already called on the offside. But he stabbed it right out of the air. There's Dobesh, who's played an outstanding game, and he played he's really played an outstanding series, too. Yeah, he's been great. And you said it just because last night he was good. He was great. But Soulier was awesome. He was godlike. He made 55 saves. And so Dobish also had that thing where you talked about where you talked about yesterday. You know, goalie hasn't been challenged in a couple of sessions. Everything's going his, his skater's way, but you know, the goalie's. You get hot by seeing a lot of shots sometimes. And so that's here today. He's made a couple huge saves. And you said it. He's made 20 saves. It's just one of them he saved and then didn't hold on to it. Back in shot by Lampa. He stopped that puck. Is still Ohio State has not peppered him with the same amount of shots as yesterday. Right out in front. And they pepper Dobesh. He made a save twice on Wall. Who was going for another one. And they still lead. But that Duke pass intercepted by Lampa. Lampa trying to get away from Bricky. Backhand shot saved by Dobesh. And again, Bricky put the pressure on him so he couldn't cut to the floor. Goalie can just be your best friend, can he? Duke with a brutal pass. That sets up Lampa for a potential breakaway. Greg talking about the Geneev line. So just getting a look at this Lampa shot. Good closeout by Duke to force the backhand. Let the net be a wedge and then made a play. Up it goes to Berger on a good pass, but he didn't get a good shot as McWard closed down on him very well. A lot of misconduct. So did McLean. Shot right on, saved by Dobis. That's going to be great atmosphere in Yost. Assuming they get there, they're still peppering him away with shots. If they got a second one, they'd still have a chance, but now they get it up to the blue line. One clear and it's over. Long shot taken by McMenamin was stopped by Dobish. It's out down the ice. That's going to do it. And the Ohio State Buckeyes have come through to win this quarterfinal playoff series. It will not be a repeat of 2022 when Penn State lost the first game but won the last two. But I'll tell you what, they made it uncomfortably close once again. Yeah, they battled back here, Greg. After yesterday, it's...